Melbourne's skipping girl has been given a 21st century makeover. Restored to her former glory and powered by renewable energy, she'll have a skip in her step for many years to come. You know, the Melbourne skyline has changed, but she very much has been a part of Melbourne skyline, and I think it would be fair to say that she is genuinely uh, an icon here in Melbourne. Back in 2006, uh, we had a, uh, a statewide search for um, Victorians' favourite icons, and Skipping Girl was nominated, and she received overwhelming public support. She's very well known, everybody seems to know her, and a thrill to pass by. Skipping Girl sign has had a grip on the imagination of Melbourne for decades. It's great to see that such a, an important institution in Melbourne's life being revitalised. AGL came on as a principal sponsor last year. Um, and then we were really, really fortunate to get AGL on board as the principal partner, um, for which we're you know, eternally grateful. Um, without AGL, there's no doubt, um, we wouldn't have made up the shortfalls. She first appeared on the city skyline in 1936, when skipping girl Vinegar brought its label to life. Little Audrey vanished briefly in the late 1960s when her original home was demolished. She was replaced in 1970 following public outcry. But after another 39 years skipping, she was looking a little worn out. We decided that something had to be done about this girl up here, so we thought, right. We've got to get her going. There are a number of parties to the project. Uh, the National Trust, um, uh, Heritage Victoria, who provided a sort of a, this is a heritage listed entity. The Friends of Audrey, who actually started this all off uh, about four or five years ago. And quite a number of members of the public who, the, who through the National Trust campaign, donated um, sums of money personally to the restoration. Delta Neon, of course, as well, are an additional party, and they've been responsible for the actual restoration work itself. She will be uh, powered by 100% renewable energy, um, green power from AGL, and, uh, and she will leave a much smaller carbon footprint um, than she did the last time that she operated. We were delighted that AGL were prepared to offer the facility to run uh, Skipping Gale on, on green power. Green power is, uh, is power that is, is generated from a, an accredited renewable energy um, project, like a wind farm or a hydro plant or some solar activity. So this is a very happy moment to see this happening behind. It's great that AGL can see the, um, the importance of actually restoring that historical value. We've created a, a specific micro website which uh, has been for information purposes. We've actually built a Facebook site uh, with, and Audrey has over 200 friends since she started which is great. Uh, we've, uh, we've used um, slightly non-traditional media um, for um, leverage in the last couple of months. Uh, in particular, uh, we've built a, a wrap for a tram that's uh, been running up and down a number of tram lines in Melbourne for the last couple of months and put together a, a, a commercial for cinema. obviously to AGL as coming on as a major corporate supporter um, and showing really their community credentials and we're particularly grateful for that. AGL is committed to uh, supporting the communities in which it operates and we're delighted that uh, we're able to support this community activity for, uh, for the restoration of, of, of Audrey. Um, and we think it's important to give back to the communities that we operate in so for us um, it's been a great opportunity and we've been delighted to be um, involved. It's just a real win-win for heritage and a win-win for the community. The beauty about these things is that they, um, they have a resonance with people young and old. If you ask older people about the Skipping Girl, they remember it when they were children. They remember going past it on the way home from school. Um, we're hoping now that with the new generation being able to enjoy um, this sign now that she's been restored. It's been a great project uh, and really you know, satisfying to get involved in, in, a, in a great community-based campaign and it's also been successful from an organisational perspective in that we've really managed to capture a great sort of PR from this over the last, um, the last few months in particular. So overall we've been, it's been a great project. And I have to say that that sort of symbolism of an old icon of Melbourne being renewed and, uh, and repowered with renewable energy 
uh, from AGL I think is, is a great one. So you've got the story of skipping girl, an icon from the past, a heritage icon from the past, skipping off into the future with green, uh, green energy. We think that renewable energy is going to play uh, an incredibly important part um, in Australia's future. Um, we sort of recognised this a few years ago and whilst Audrey might have been standing still, um, AGL has very, been very busily repositioning itself. Around about 6.30 on the 10th of June will be when Audrey's relit officially for the first time and all things going to plan she'll be sort of lighting the skies for many years to come. A very joyful moment. Somebody said to me, how are you today? And I said, very happy. <laughs> because to see this actually happening is a very big thrill. And good on AGL for taking the lead in rebuilding the sign, firing it up again with renewable energy, with the assistance of the Friends of Audrey National Trust and the various other organisations. So it's been one of those things that's dominated Melbourne's consciousness for a long time. It's great that she's back. I mean, this is a, a Melbourne icon, the, the skipping girl. Uh, we've been absolutely delighted to be uh, a part of it. We uh, now we've got the electricity side of it, obviously. We've got the renewable energy side of it, and we're giving something back to the community. So it's been just a fantastic uh, all around.